Good morrow. Morning. And welcome to another video. Welcome back to the channel. It's our last day today. Yes, it is. So if you're wondering, the, we've had two videos before this. So we went to Wells. In the last video, we went to uh, Cheddar Gorge, the one before that. And uh, this is our last day, and we're going to spend it going to Wookie Hole. Wookie Hole. I've never been. You've been when you were little, didn't you? Yeah, I was like six or seven, so I, I, I remember elements of it. It's like caves and like witchy things, and I think it's a little bit... We're going in with an open mind, but I think it's very much now like what Land's End is, where you've they, got a natural wonder and it's lovely, but yeah. then they've built things around they it. They put dinosaur things around it and digs and shit like that. Like, yeah. it's not that's not the reason we're going. Like, we'll, we'll enjoy enjoy it for what it is. But yeah, yeah I think they've over commercialised it a little bit. Yeah. But I still think the caves look pretty decent, so that's the main reason we're going. And to probably pick up some Wookiee Old Cheddar, I imagine. Oh, not that cheese again. So we're checking out of Birch Hollow Hut. I think this is one of the best days I've ever Yes. Had. If you want to see the full room tour of this thing and everything it has to offer, including the hot tub outside, uh, check our first video, the Cheddar Gorge one, where we do it, we break down the entire place. It's so nice. Like, it's kitted out well, it's bespoke, it's per it just feels personally handcrafted. Yes. They've really put a lot of effort into it. There's everything, everything you can imagine here that you've got. The price was so reasonable for what you get. Mm -hmm. It's an Airbnb, so Lou, thank you very much for the stay if you're watching. It has been amazing and been such a, a comfort, uh, obviously a difficult time for us. It's very we've, relaxing. We've unwound brilliantly yeah, here. it's definitely helped. And it's like, you know, you're, you're away from the farm, you're not bothered, it is like your own little paradise and... Yeah, with that, we've really enjoyed this place and we're going to do our last video now. We're going to head over to Wookie Hole and... Uh, do some uh, some cave diving. No, I'm Ooh. joking. I'm not going to dive. I'm not going to dive. Not dive. I'm not going to dive. You, there is options. Is there really? There is, yeah. You can have like excursions because there's like pools, I think. And you could go and like climb with a team. No. No, I'm joking. I don't want to do that. I just want to chill. This is a chill weekend. Sunday. Sunday. So it's, it's day rest. Have a gentle stroll through some caves, I think. Before we begin, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, share, comment down below. Uh, make sure you check out all our socials and make sure you check out the videos before this as well. Wookie Hole. Excited? You are? <laughs> oh look, there is hot tub bottles here. That's, that's, that's all you think about now, isn't it? Yeah. That hot tub life. Just got our tickets from the ticket booth. Got my sticker on. Get a little sticker. Adam V. Bar and Bug. I'm not putting a sticker on, I'm not seven. Yeah, but that's your people. No, then I'll just show it to them. Um, got a, and then you got a head up there. Up there. Or there's like other bits down here. Oh yeah, the adventure golf and whatnot down that way. Which I don't think we're interested in. So as you come over the top, you can see everything from down below for later. And as you can see, there are dinosaurs everywhere and a mammoth and a massive gorilla which is weird yeah uh, there's blue though oh yeah blue so not too commercialized i suppose but to be honest some of these dinosaurs look like they've been cleaned up a little bit because when we saw a couple of other vlogs they were a little bit weathered yeah, they weren't looking their best, were they? No, but these look like they've been cleaned up a little bit. I think that's a new one. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Is that the Velociraptors at the back? Yeah, some va raptors at the back, yeah. I think they've, they've added some extra ones and cleaned up the others. There you go. So we'll head down there later and see some dino action. Dino action. <laughs> Do you love a bit of dino action? <laughs> Onward to the cave.
into the cave. Oh my. Um, a few things to say before you go around. It is still a real cave, so please be very careful. The floors can be wet, they can be slippery, they are uneven. You are going to duck down, you guys that are tall enough, because we're ducking down to about this sort of height in about six places. So when you're ducking down, please be wary how quick you come up on the other side. Obviously, we're underground, and this where we're standing um, is the oldest piece of cave. This was created by a river, and the river left here. <laughs> about 100,000 years ago, okay? Now the river, we're gonna see it later, but the present river starts three miles away. And over time, this river has dropped, which means there are caves above us, there are caves behind you, and there are caves over here. We don't get to see them. People, we think, lived where we're standing at least, well, more than 30,000 years ago, okay? The last group of people were Iron Age, that was 2,000 years ago. And one person in particular, the witch of Wookie Hole, is said to have lived here about 500 years ago. And a man called Herbert Bolch from Wells, an archaeologist, postman as well, he found a skeleton of a woman down there. And also two skeletons of goat, knives, pottery, and a small stalagmite that had been shaped into a round shape, almost, almost looking like a crystal ball. The real one is in Wells Museum. So what I mentioned, you can actually see these things for real in Wells Museum. Now in her day, and obviously when people lived in the caves, this passageway in front of us didn't exist. This has been made easier for us to walk down into the first chamber because originally the way that people used to go is up there in the corner. Now that's really good because when you climb up there, all of a sudden you've got a 50 foot drop, about 15 meters straight down. And in there, there's loads of rocks that are like a wedge between the walls. It's like a, it's almost like a ladder. People used to climb up to caves above, or go down and pop out of a hole, which you can see halfway down the steps we're going to use. Ends up in the sea near Western Supermare. It was used by the paper mill for making paper. There is nothing living in it. You don't want to drink it because there's, uh, there's um, lead in it. And as I say, the main use was paper making for the mixture and for power. So there is three miles of underwater river before it leaves the caves here at Wookie Hole. here will take, we think, another 10,000 years. All of this white stuff has been brought down in water, travelling from the surface, down through the rock, and when the water falls from the roof, the white stuff is left behind. We're ducking down now. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh dripped! Oh, I'm gonna go right down. Keep going. You're alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm good.
And because of the water and the calcite, that stuff I talked about earlier in the rock, this cave has a lot more in the roof. Stalactites, the opposite to a stalagmite. And you have some large ones in the middle, over here. These things are called a curtain. They're meant to look like a curtain at the side of a window. And opposite, over here, this sort of thing is called flowstone. And it's all made by water bringing down calcite into the cave, okay? Can you see the end piece? On all those stalactites, the end piece is much brighter. Now that piece by itself, just the bright piece, is 97 years growth. Oof. And that's all to do with lighting. Electrolytes have been here 97 years. Ever since that day, the air has been clean in this cave. In the old days you came in with candles, torches, that is smoke and soot at the top from the days before electric lighting. This chamber, because of the acoustics, in the past people have had parties down here, the Victorians used to have concerts in here, we have had concerts in here in the more recent times as well. Um, it is the most popular cave for a wedding and it used to be the end of the cave tour. Can you see that dark space on the other side of the river? There's a little dark gap over on the other side. Yeah? Well that is the top of an archway. Over on the opposite side there's a little dark shadowy piece and that is the top of a four metre high archway, 12 feet high. And behind there is a small chamber number four. Now that cave has been flooded like this for at least 200 years because of a dam that was built for the paper mill. And if any of you guys are into looking at skeletons, in the museum there are things that were found buried in the floor of that fourth chamber. That was an a Iron Age burial chamber 2,000 years ago. Also, that cave is where the first ever cave dive in this country took place. Back in 1935, six cavers wanted to try to go and in, get into caves underwater. They were lent diving equipment from the Navy, so they were wearing the heavy boots, the round helmets, a hose pipe running back to a hand pump, where two people standing over on my right were pumping air in time with a person breathing inside the suit. Are you okay about going over the bridge? You know you can do it. Don't be Let me go. Look at that. Come on, you go. It's quite high. I might go down. Just don't look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. It's all see through underneath me. Really good. Wow. Oh. Oh God, in enclosed space and see through high uh, bridges is not really my idea of fun. Um, oh God. Oh. oh God. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Oh, got dripped on. 
Oh, really dripped on in here. Wow. Just gonna go up here. We're back on dry land. There we go. Done. That was. You okay? Yeah. 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 Some kind of waterfall in there. You can't see it. What? Wow. Near the water. You don't like this bit, do you? <laughs> yeah. Yes. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I think there's some more bridges. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. I think it's just slips. Oh god, there's a lot of dripping in here. A lot of drips. Oh god, there's another low bit. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's the waterfall we could hear. Oh, wow. Ugh, again, you're on a see through thing. Wow. Oh, you can do like, oh my God, there's a big net up there. I think this is where you can do like all the excursions. You okay? Oh God, look at that. I mean, obviously, all these tunnels have been excavated so we can get to the other chambers, but it still looks pretty awesome. Jeez! 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 Down there, look on the right, look, there's a few more cheese. Lovely, lovely cheese. Cheese, grab it! That is where it's being kept. Now, these cheeses are brought in the way we leave later, okay? And these cheeses are a year old when they're brought into the cave. They are left in there for up to a year, so by the time they leave, they can be close to two years old. Lovely, lovely cheese. By two divers originally setting off from that round shaped cave we were in just now called the Woodward Parlour. Now, to swim today from the parlour to here would still take about 40 minutes. And the divers, if they did, would appear up here in the corner, here. Because behind these rocks, up there, down behind, is the river. That's the way the divers get in here. The water you see in this cave is nothing to do with diving. It is connected to the river, but the spaces are too small for people to make their way into this chamber. So the way in is behind the rocks at the end of this chamber has been created by waterfalls, we think, at the end of ice ages. Ice age melt, water coming in about 70 metres from the surface, carrying with it sand and gravel. Now because this dam in a cave is dry, those mines we don't think have been eroded. You're looking at something that perhaps hasn't changed in 12 to 15,000 years. This is actually a very rare thing to have been discovered in a cave and practically free in show caves around the world. I 
stars. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is where all of Wookie Hold cheese is bought in and bought out. Any Wookie Hold cheese you buy in the world comes through this tunnel. I feel very privileged <laughs> to be in the presence of cheese. Ah, daylight. We will be getting some Definitely. Wow. Look at that. There you go. All done. So we're out. You can hear the water behind us. Now, I must say, we picked the wrong tour to go on. It was full of kids. There was a lot of kids, so we do apologize if that kind of takes over the sound a little bit. We went past another tour on our way out, coming in, and they were all our age. We should have just waited. Should have just waited. Never mind. Never mind. Neil. 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 Our tour guide did really well because that it was a massive group with yeah. a lot of kids that were a bit angsty, but they all quite down once. Mostly, yeah. Them. I mean, mostly, yeah. Music. Yeah, it was so cool. Like some of the kids didn't really want to be work. Like, it makes me want to go and do like the little exertion, like say, it's where you go and climb on the like rocks and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. You can pay to do like the exercises. Yeah. But did he say something about they're trying to excavate a new one? They're trying to they're trying to create a new one, trying to excavate a new one. So that means potentially in the next, I don't know, a few years or something like that, yeah. 20, 30 years maybe, they might have another cave you want to explore. They said that that cave is bigger than all the caves put combined, together, yeah. which is it just blows your mind that you were like completely under that, yeah. like completely under it, further down in the ground. Yeah. Up. And then this river is all the water that's obviously in there that's going out. If you're not big geologists or history buffs or anything like that, it might not bother you, but I loved that it. blew my mind. I loved it. It was amazing. So yeah, now we're just going to wander around the rest of it and have a look at some plastic dinosaurs. This is for the kids now. <laughs> That's very, uh, that's cool. This is a cool bridge. Like a proper Viking bridge. That's wicked, isn't it? Love that. So, we've, uh, we've got King Kong in front of us. I don't. No wonder why. But that is, uh, that is King Kong. Couple of cave people. <laughs> These time signatures are all over the place, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and then just an elephant drowning in mud. I'm being Ross. I'm being Ross. Dinosaurs. Actually, I'm a paleon. Dinosaurs is fine. Hurry, thanks. It is. It's just. Oh, oh, there's more. Pterodactyl. Still more dinos down there. Oh, it was pterodon, not pterodactyl, sorry. Apologies. Mini blue raptors, I think. Well, they're in the raptor family, aren't they? But I just don't know whether they're actually raptors. I assume they are. Oh, there's more up there. 
You enjoying the dinosaurs? I am enjoying the dinosaurs. <laughs> the plastic dinosaurs. <laughs> she looks like she's done with this shit. Uh, yep. Yeah. With the baby She's dinosaurs. just like, mm, if you just decide to drown yourself in the river, that'd be great, because then I can carry on with my life. Like, mommy, 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 mommy. Attention, attention, attention. No. No. <laughs> no. I'm done. I've birthed you. What more do you need? <laughs> so, obviously, you've got this 4D experience that you can do with the kids. So, if you've got kids, it's great. It's loads Everything's of stuff. Everything's all included, which is Yeah, really it's all included. You can do it. It's, it's all included with a the ticket. There's so. a little Scooby Doo 4D thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why Scooby Doo. Well, maybe it's just the theme this year, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, there is a lot of stuff here for kids. But it's not like you can't enjoy it as an adult because we love Wookie Hole. <laughs> and you just take this kind of stuff, it's tongue in cheek, isn't it? I love, I love a bit of dinosaurs. Just a little bit. Oh, look, the Stegosaurus is moving its tail. Oh. Yeah, you've got to be careful of that tail. Remember walking with dinosaurs? <laughs> what a show. What a show. What a show. Looks like a pier, doesn't it? Mm. I'm following you, I don't know where I'm going. Oh that's a mirror, that's a mirror. Straight down, I think. Mm. Yeah, no, that way. Flapping about. That way, that way. No, see, look that. Oh, okay. Is this just a bit of Maybe. No, there's a bit there. Oh, Merlin! Merlin! He shows us the way! <laughs> Merlin's beard! <laughs> Which way are we, we going? That way? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you found it? Yeah. Oh no. No, you haven't. <laughs> Not yet. Is that it? Is that it? Another way out? It's going nice. Oh yeah. Sarah's found a cannon to fire shit. <laughs> No, 
No, you're a child. Yeah. <laughs> Take it to the gear shop. There we go. End of the tour. Big gear shop. With all your spooky shit. And a random seals. Fluffy. Yeah. Just come out of the gift shop and then you get to see the pirate adventure golf. It does look pretty darn good to be it fair. It does look fun, doesn't it? Looks similar to that one that was down in the uh, painting. Yeah, that was a good That was fun. That was a good little uh, adventure golf. Not today though. No. We haven't got time. So that is our excursion done to Wookie Hole. Yeah. All finished. So we thought we'd sign off in the car because there isn't much stuff to do except get driving home. Yeah, I want to pick up some food. I'm starving after mm. all that cave walking. But we did pick up a, a, a little bit of wares. A couple of wares. A couple of wares. So I thought it was quite reasonable in there, to be fair. Yeah, uh, price-wise in the gift shop, it really wasn't that bad. The only thing is we couldn't get Wookie Hole Cheddar because all the small pieces had sold out and they only had the massive pieces left which were 13 quid ago and they you had like massive and we would have got that had it had a longer expiration date on it but it had like until like the middle of march so like there's no way we're going to get through all that cheese in just about a month so we we still got some wookie hole cheese we ended up getting some which i didn't know you could get uh Wookie hole cage, a cave, cave aged. aged. I can't say cave aged. Uh, goat cheese, and we love goat cheese. Yeah, and we have had the Wookie hole cheddar before. So it's not like we haven't tasted it. And they've they've already specified any time that you see the word Wookie hole cheddar on there, it is from this place. It yeah. isn't a knockoff or anything like that. If it says Wookie hole cave aged cheddar, it's from here. Yeah, and we've had it before. You can get it in like farm shops and stuff like that. So we'll try the goat's cheese. Yeah, because we haven't tried it. I got a few little bits and bobs. Firstly, I was quite surprised by this. Look at that. It's a big old glass tankard that says Witch's Brew Wookie Hole on it. And it was only 6 99 And it's a solid tankard. Most most times you probably look at about 15 quid for that. Old yeah. And they had all different glasses. Wine, shot glasses, yeah. whiskey glasses. But I wanted a big tankard. So I got myself a big tankard. I also got the staple. I couldn't get tea towel. There was one tea towel, but it looked horrible. Yeah, it was. It had it? the dinosaurs and like the Mammoth King Kong it. and yeah. shit on it. I was like, nah, that's not what. No, I wanted the cave yeah. or a witch. Yeah. So I thought I foregone the uh, the tea towel, but I did get a little Wookie hole pin to add to my collection. I need to get a new jacket, man. I suppose. I know. And then I got. A little Wookie hole Mate. fridge magnets. It's kind of like 3D. The little little, little cave diver on there. Looking into the cave of wonders. So yeah, that's all we picked up. Yeah. Uh, some cheese, the staples of a holiday, which is a magnet, and uh, yeah, a little tankard. Well, a big tankard. So that concludes our little jaunt to Somerset. We hope you enjoyed the other videos. We hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're giving you a little bit of information about Wookie hole and. Uh, we we do think it's still a decent day out. It's you know it's not a full day for us. No. But if you're here with kids, it's easily a full day. There's plenty of stuff here for kids. Yes, it has gone a bit more commercialised now with all the extra bits they've added on top to kind of keep you here for as long as possible. Mm. But the main focus is obviously the caves, and the caves are still awesome. There's so much history there. There's so much nice things to figure out, and the guides are really good at giving you loads of information. Yeah. And it's just breathtaking yeah. it really is breathtaking wandering in there and just seeing this massive cave full of stuff going on it's incredible it is very highly recommended just don't go on a sunday when you've got loads of kids <laughs> <laughs> but never mind we still enjoyed ourselves and we still were able to listen to neil do his um his history talking yeah so yeah we are now on the road again yes yeah, so we're gonna go get some food and then call day but we'll, uh, we'll we'll leave you here uh, we hope you enjoyed it Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, share. Find us on all the socials. Find us on... Tiki Toki. And find us on... Buy me coffee. And if we don't see you before, guys... We'll see you after. Bye. Take care.